Welcome everybody to another video of Cop or Drop. This Cop or Drop is going to be a little bit special. It is going to be based off of the deflation that we are seeing now in Roblox trading. And I'm going to be telling you guys what items you should get and what items you should get rid of during this deflation. So let's get right into the video. So right now in Roblox trading, we are seeing the start of deflation. It usually happens every year around this time where smalls, medium items, and even big items start to drop. And now we are seeing that mainly in small items right now, but eventually even bigger items are going to be affected. Starting off is the green, purple, and the blue Wistful Winks. This was in the last Copper Drop video and these items are still performing badly. As you can see the value is still continuing to drop and they still have the lowering trend. The next item you want to avoid is the Autorite Antlers. Now this item has been performing bad for a while now and is still doing bad, which is very surprising because it went all the way up from 24k all the way down to 14k. This item has just plummeted and even the history on the wrap has been terrible. Like this item has done significantly bad compared to the others. Next up is the purple and the pink mermaid princesses. Both of these have been doing really bad recently and especially the pink one went all the way from 38k all the way down to 20k now which is just crazy and both of these are still doing bad. The next item to avoid is going to be the Vlad's Lament. This item has been doing bad for a while now. At the beginning of July it was at 70k and now it is all the way down to 45k. Still has the lowering trend and is going to keep doing bad. Now even demand small such as the Playful Vampire, the Roblox Madness Face, and the Black Iron Horns are starting to do bad. These items used to be really good getting like 5 to 10k overpays and now they are dropping and doing bad. Now the Valk, the Ice Valk, and the Classic Fedora have started to do a little bit better but honestly I would still avoid these. It is only the start of deflation and these items could definitely continue to drop. And lastly some bigger items I would be careful owning would be the Poison Horns, the Frozen Horns, the Fiery Horns, the Prefectus, and the Yum. All these items have started to do bad. The Yum Face has dropped a little bit. The Dominus Prefectus is actually doing really bad right now. It dropped and is in discussion for another drop. The Fiery Horns dropped a decent amount, but they have done a little bit better since. The Frozen Horns have actually not dropped yet, but I do see them dropping in the future. And the Poison Horns have actually dropped 70k so far and are in discussion for another drop. But all these big items are definitely going to get hit at some point during this deflation. Now for the items that you should cop or get during the time of deflation. Starting off are the Crystal Circlets. The Emerald, the Magenta, the Sapphire, and the Ruby Crystals are pretty reliable. They get some nice overpays and through deflation these would be nice items to get if you don't have too much value. The next items to get are going to be the Doom Bucket, the Red Bucket of Cheer, and the Black Iron Bucket. All these items are doing really good right now and would be very reliable through deflation. And they get some nice overpays, don't have too many premium copies, so I would definitely recommend these items. Just like the Buckets, the Green Ice Crown, the Purple Ice Crown, and the Red Ice crown are very alike. They also have the low premium copies, get some nice overpays, and are very reliable items. Up next are the Golden Antlers and the Wainwood Antlers. Both of these are definitely going to keep raising. They're getting really nice overpays and don't have too many premium copies, so I would say they're very reliable. The next items are the Fun Sound items. The Telemon's Chicken Suit and the Bright Eyes Bloxy Cola Hat are both doing really good right now. I will say they're probably reliable right now for a nice upgrade, but I do see both of these lowering later on in deflation. If you look here at like around September to October, they do start to do bad. So I think for now they'll be fine, but later on they might drop. Next is the Soviet Ashanka. This item has the raising trend and has been getting really nice overpays. So if you want to get an item that is going to raise, definitely get this because it is definitely due for a raise. Now that deflation is here, demand items are starting to do bad. So the items to get now are going to be rares. So I'm going to show you guys some rares that you can get for deflation. Starting off is two small rares for the people that don't have as much value. The first rare is the Glorious Vampire Party Queen. Now this item used to have a value but got devalued, but I do think with the nice overpays it's getting now, it could get a value again. Now the wrap is pretty stable I think, but honestly this could be a good investment for deflation. And the other small rare is going to be the Emerald Wrath Dragon. This item does have a value and definitely could raise during deflation. If you are more into demand items like myself, the Cthulhu, the Eyes of Emerald Wrath, and the Front Stand are all good rares that have some demand to them, and I would honestly recommend getting these. These will definitely raise during deflation, and there's some pretty nice rares. And lastly, I would recommend getting these sword rares. There's a bunch of like immortal swords and classic swords that have some pretty good demand, and all these do good during deflation. 
So that is the end of the cop or drop deflation edition. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But best of luck during these times because everything is dropping and try not to lose any value. But best of luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.